Call of Duty's new $80 bonus King Kong glove is causing upset. A new melee weapon is themed around the Godzilla and Kong, the new empire, and some people aren't happy about the price. Season 3 of Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone includes a crossover themed with the Godzilla and King Kong, which includes a free event cosmetic. Oh my god, I'm about to just cream myself with all this free cosmetic stuff after I pay a bunch of money, though. To earn a new shop bundle up to purchase. However, there is some controversy around a bonus melee weapon for those who purchase all of the Metonsterverse bundles. The B.E.A.S.T. Long name, wish they could find a way to make it quicker. King Kong Glove weapon in the latest Monsterverse film. It allows him to unleash energy powered punches. And this is an exclusive weapon unlock for those who purchase all four Godzilla Kong bundles. These operators bundles, bundles cost 2,400 COD points or $20 each. Uh, yeah, isn't that nice? So that's a whopping $80 worth of points in total to get the glove. Let's talk about it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I know I've been gone. You guys didn't get a video on Sunday. You guys didn't get a video on Monday. And I had to pre-record videos for the weekend. So what was I doing? I was running cameraman for another YouTube channel called Shelly Shop. And I had soccer tryouts for my kids, man. I've been busy. So once in a while, when I have to go do real life stuff. I just couldn't get enough content filmed for you guys to cover all the days. So for that, I do apologize. But my family comes first and my friends. But over that hiatus there, over our adventures of Advanced Uno, a lot of comments came up going, Shorty, Shorty, would you cover the glove? The, well, the OJ Simpson's glove didn't fit, but I can tell you what, I don't think even OJ Simpson would wear this fucking glove. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about that glove. We're gonna talk about how they want $80 for that glove. And while we do that, the gameplay on screen will be infected on Favela. Call of Duty wants to charge $80 for a gun or blueprint or weapon skin or operator skin total right yet their servers are filled with afk players and bots on walking scripts everything that i just said will be proven in this video as you will watch people do their walking script walk four feet forward walk four feet backwards in the perfectly straight line run into walls and you'll see the dots of my teammates standing around how long is an infected game supposed to last 99 percent of the time over in two minutes this one almost goes to eight goddamn minutes. So while we talk about this greedy, manipulative, scummy fucking company called Activision and the game that they make that they have literally stripped down to the bare essentials, locked inside of a cage and feed it freaking rice once a goddamn month, game Call of Duty, you're going to watch a very extremely broken lobby of infected. Guess what? This problem, Call of Duty Activision, goes into all the game modes. Yeah, you fucking greedy shits. All right, so let's break this down. Do you want to look like a generic character that just happens to have crystals on his back because he's trying to get his aura right and he thinks some fucking rock is going to fix his terminal cancer or heal his goddamn drunk liver? Well then, Call of Duty's got you covered with this very not even close to representation of a Call of Duty Godzilla and Kong crossover event. Pick this Godzilla over here on the left. It's covered in crystals. Yes, it's just a white skin covered in crystals. Wow. It looks like shit. It looks stupid, and if you spend $20, $24 on this, you are wasting your money. Let's go to the middle with King Kong. Wow, I forgot that part where King Kong put on a giant monkey-sized gas mask. Oh, wow, and look at how he wrapped a spinal cord around him to look like an ammo belt. How edgy. Wow. Let's look at the one on the right. It just looks like the one on the far left, except for with different colored crystals. This one's trying to heal you from a urethra infection because of that girl you took home the other day. Yup, this one's the burn pee looking crystals. Here's the thing, Call of Duty. If you're going to do crossover events can they at least make sense here's how i'm picturing how you're doing it currently you're sitting at home with your mustard stained t-shirt while your wife is definitely not fucking the goddamn yoga instructor in the next room you're sitting on your couch mr executive at activision and you're watching tv right on that tv comes a commercial for a movie it doesn't matter what it is it could be godzilla it could be kong it could be baby's first day out it could be goddamn rugrats and your dick immediately gets hard you run into the next room you throw that very limber yoga 
instructor into the wall and he crumples into a very elegant ball on the floor. You fuck your wife for the three seconds that it takes you to freaking blow your load and then you rush straight to the office. You go into your boss's room and you go, oh, I got an idea for you. I just saw Kong on TV and that's going to be somewhat popular. So let's go make generic looking skins, sell it for an excessive amount of money. And the one thing that the people are going to want to do is punch things like Kong. And we'll lock that behind a four character paywall. We'll say it's your bonus gift. Yeah. I'm going to say it's your fucking bonus gift. We're going to give it to you after you give us $80. So you feel like you're getting an extra little bit of value. You're fucking scum. This shit is getting out of control. This game is fucking falling apart and they are raking in the cash off of freaking morons who buy every skin because they have FOMO. It's predatory. What they do is predatory. The item store rotates because they want you to feel like there's a time limit. When will it come back? Will it ever come back? What if it doesn't come back? I should buy this. Don't be an idiot. Don't buy it. Don't. It's my money and I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. Okay, so do buy it, but then don't bitch about it. When I saw this glove thing, was I pissed off? Oh, yeah. And I sat there and I was going to make a video immediately. And then I didn't. You know why? Because no one fucking cares. The asshole that's going to go buy that skin is going to go buy that skin no matter what is being said. Because he's a greedy, selfish fuck who doesn't care that these microtransactions are killing the fucking game. And when somebody like me or anybody else says, hey, if we don't buy those skins... They will be forced to make a better game. That same fucking asshole that's buying the skin is just going to say, it's my money. I'm going to do what I want. I'm confused. What the hell is gaming for anymore? At this point, just give us a fucking item store that rotates every 10 minutes and call that the game and you'll make bank. I guarantee it. Because losers who got excited over an $80 not even cool looking skin because it's loosely tied to a movie are fucking dumb. Simple. But they're so dumb that there's no talking knowledge into them. There's no breaking it down for them in a relevant way that they'll understand. All they see is the FOMO, the fear of missing out. All they see is looking different inside of a video game. Guess what, moron? It's a first-person shooter. You're only changing the experience for everybody else, you stupid fuck. So here's the deal. I'm not buying the Battle Pass this season because I don't think they, they should be pushing drugs to kids. Rated 17M. Who the fuck's wanting skins? It's kids. Grown adults aren't getting all hard over freaking these skins unless you're Cypher PK or fucking Nick A30 in Fortnite. Regular adults who aren't making a living for this aren't getting excited for this. I have not ever once ever looked in the item store and been like, wow, I really want that skin. Oh my God, I need it. Even as a content creator, I couldn't imagine doing that to you guys. Couldn't imagine getting excited for a skin. Like I'm 33. I'm looking at these Godzilla skins and I'm going, what the fuck does this have to do with Godzilla? Since when does Godzilla run around with an AK-47 or King Kong runs around with a fucking goddamn LMG? Quick open like a mother effer. Why whying like a little kid? Ever, dude. The shit ain't gonna change. The people that wanted me to comment on it, you're my people. I know that you guys aren't gonna be buying this shit. I know you guys don't want to have to pay fucking $80 to get a shitty blueprint. So I'm not gonna make these videos talking shit about it anymore. There's no point. The loser who's gonna buy it is gonna buy it no matter what and he's gonna defend it as his my money is going to be whatever the hell I want to spend it on. And you can't argue that point. So here's the thing. You see a guy with these skins, shit on him. Then call him out for being a beta in the comments. Tell him how much a loser he is for buying the skins. Get your chat banned, but you'll feel better. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, more good videos coming. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, have a fantastic day.